Hello YouTube, this is Navalis X7, I'm bringing you another G.I. Joe the Rise of Cobra review. Um, I just forgot to do this in my last video, so I'm going to do it twice in this one. Toy Dude 101 uh, he's another reviewer and he's got some great reviews. Um, there's going to be a link to his channel here. There was also a link to his channel in my last video too, um, even though I forgot to give him the shout out. But the link is going to be there, it's right there, click on it, subscribe to his channel, he's a lot of good fun, he does a lot of good reviews. Go do it. Um, but anyways, here I am, I'm bringing you another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra review, this time it's the Toys R Us Bench Press. Um, that box art, does that look, look, does that look like Draw Butler to anyone else? I swear, looking at the box art, that's supposed to be Draw Butler. Um, but anyways, as I'm looking at this guy, and I kind of read it, it looks like this guy maybe might be a tribute to Sergeant Slaughter. I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember Bench Press ever. So I don't know if he's some new uh, tribute to Sergeant Slaughter or if he's just another character and I'm crazy. I don't know. I'm not worried about which one it is. But anyways, here it is. Um, we see we got a backpack, a shotgun, his hat, a hatchet, a chainsaw, and the oversized missile launcher Gatling gun, uh, known for the heavy duties. But let's get this guy out of the box and let's see what we got. So here, Bench Press is out of the box. Uh, as I said before, he's a Toy Source exclusive, uh, with his um, other selling point being the Snow Serpent. Um, but yeah, here he is. Um, here's his oversized missile launcher. It's the Gatling gun. I think this comes with the camo, which I believe is the Assault on the Pit heavy duty. Um, and this guy can't carry it, but it takes a lot of finagling to get him to um, hold it right. So we're really not going to waste any time with that for something that people aren't that excited to see. Um, interesting note, his bio card says that his preferred weapon is a long-range assault rifle, and he comes packaged with a shotgun. Alright, which he can hold the shotgun alright. This is about all you're going to get with the gun, though. Um, he has a little hatchet, which he holds fairly well in this hand. Getting rid of those, he's got backpack, which actually goes in a lot easier than some of the other backpacks have come out recently. Um, there is some space in between. Um, I know some people are really, really, um, <laughs> they have very strong feelings about how backpacks should fit, whatever. Um, comes with a chainsaw. I thought this is just kind of a fun little accessory, especially coming with a G.I. Joe, um, that he can hold. Takes a little bit of finagling. Of course, I'm doing the review, he doesn't want to hold it, any of it. Whoa. All right, he's fighting me with this. Um, um, one minute. Bench press is so manly that he does not need to hold it two-handed. He can hold it one-handed, and he can swing it around and stab it to the ground. And okay, yeah, getting rid of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, he does not hold it very well. Um, he was holding it when I got him out of the box, and it seems like he's forgotten how to hold it since then. Uh, the hat is removable. Yeah, head sculpt is all right. Nothing great, but there's far worse out there. Um, he's completely unhindered and tight in all the right ways. Um, I really like this figure, actually. Um, just need to note, his knee pads are two different colors. I don't know if that's just mine, or if it's just hit and miss, if some are all black, some are all green, I don't know. But yeah, he's got one black knee and one green knee. Um, I think if they're designed like that, I didn't notice that until I took it out. So I didn't pay attention when I was in the store to whether that was a thing or not, but yeah. There they are. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how he holds the missile launcher. Um, overall, I give him an 8. Um, the fact that he really doesn't hold any of his accessories very well is a real turn down. But whatever. Um, we forgive him. I do like him, and I do recommend picking him up. I think he's a great toy. And once again, I'm giving my shout outs to Toy Dude 101. I've got a link to his channel here, and a link to his website here, and uh, he's a re he's got some really good um, reviews out there, and his website's pretty cool, so go check out his website. And this is Navalis X7, and I'm signing out.